okay, they've asked you to leave, you need to leave. This is public property. They've asked you to leave, you need to leave. Okay. But do you understand? Do you have business here? Oh yeah, I'm conducting, uh, doing it for a video, sir. Okay. I have YouTubers and stuff. This is okay. This is ta this is taxpayer ground. They cannot they cannot force somebody to leave these grounds. There's laws. <laughs> All right, everyone, welcome back. Levi and Clara here, and today we're going to be diving into an interesting First Amendment audit. In this video, we see a man conducting a First Amendment audit when he's confronted by an employee who demands that he leave, claiming that he's being trespassed from public property. The auditor quickly responds, pointing out that there's no such thing as trespassing on public property unless a crime has first been committed. Frustrated, the employee calls 911, and soon the Rochester police arrive on the scene, echoing the same incorrect claims as the CPS staff. The police tell the auditor that since he was asked to leave, that he is required to do so, but the auditor stands firm, explaining that he hasn't committed a crime and is simply exercising his First Amendment rights to conduct a story on this building. What's impressive, I might add, is how the officers began to understand his perspective and really listen to this auditor's side of the story, eventually respecting his rights to be in the building. It's a great example of educating others about your rights as a citizen while also maintaining a calm dialogue in a tense situation. Good to see a situation with a surprisingly wholesome outcome for everyone involved. Let's check it out now. We're in Rochester, Indiana here conducting a constitutional audit. Let's see how this goes. The constitutional audit of Rochester, Indiana DCS office. See if they violate our rights or not. Carlo, did you need something? Yeah, I'm conducting a constitutional audit. You can say it's conducting a constitutional audit. So do you need help with anything? No, I'm, I'm here. I'm here on my own business. Just just taking recordings. That's all L looking at my investment. Yeah, uh, there's there's no such thing as trespassing on public okay, so property. You've been asked to leave. So you need you to ca leave. call the cops. Call them because you're, you're going to be educated. I've already uh, this is not my first audit. So call law, call law enforcement. You'll all be educated. This is a tax. This is a taxpayer's building. You can't tell somebody to leave a taxpayer's building and there's no such thing as privacy in a taxpayer building. How are we doing? Just checking out my investment for my YouTubers. Okay, they've asked you to leave, you need to leave. This is public property. They've asked you to leave, you need to leave. Okay. But do you understand? Do you have business here? Oh yeah, I'm conducting, uh, doing it for a video, sir. Okay. I'm, I have YouTubers and stuff. This is okay. this is ta this is taxpayer ground. They I cannot they cannot force somebody to leave these grounds. There's if laws. They're, if they're being disruptive, they certainly okay. can. And Do they're you saying you're being disruptive. I'm not. How am I being disruptive? I'm I, recording. I'm just telling you what they I, told me. I'm not saying J you are. J James or Jim, whatever your name is, Officer Jim. Officer Reason. Officer Reason. Okay. Yep. You've known me for how long? I've I've, I've had I've very good encounters are. with you. Okay. I know. Who so you if are. you know who I am, sir, then you know I'm not out causing problems. I'm just recording and checking things out and making okay, sure things are get a call i have to respond hey, and, that's why hey. I'm here. and i understand and i res i respect that okay. but under federal law you know i have federal rights that are protected by the constitution of the united states have you sworn oath to upheld and defend the constitution of the united states yeah, absolutely okay so then okay. you should know so what, under federal law you, that why, that i can record why do you think they would call it and say you're being disruptive it's dcs sir <laughs> probably because my fiance has a case against them but that's no relevance to me I'm not okay. part of the, I'm not a party to the case, so that has no relevance to me. Okay. So, I mean. Did, that, did you go inside the building or anything? Or oh, yeah, you... I was checking out, but no, I wasn't going in any areas like, you know, where there's no such thing as privacy in a public setting, okay? There's, that's, that's law. That's, that's basic law. And, and I know this because I, I, I know the law. I'm studying it. And I'm very thankful of the law. I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful for Mr. Uh, Haynes over here, but what I'm not thankful for is for people like these who think they can violate people's rights, and that's not okay. okay. That's that's my problem is that you know they want to violate people's rights, and that's not okay. And that's not the first. And actually, I got asked to do this video, this constitutional audit, not just because of me, but because of other people have said their rights have been violated. Now, I understand that you guys have a job to do. I'm not going to keep you guys from doing your job. 
Appreciate I'm going to be respectful when I'm out here recording and t taking my video on, as I'm as I told you I was doing. Okay. But when it comes to freedom of the press, y'all y'all sh y'all should know that. I understand that. And that's basic law. Yep. Just so, understand they, they do have a right to say who does and doesn't come on their property. We can't but, stop you from being in the roadway. Or but they like can't. That. That's the thing. They cannot tell somebody they cannot be on public property unless you've criminally done something wrong. I've done. What crime have I committed? Every, every under Indiana law, the way I understand it, every property owner has a right to say who can and can't be on their property. But this isn't their property. This is taxpayers' dollars' property. I agree, don't disagree. But so, they, they are still operating as that entity yeah. out of this building. But, yeah, so. Like I said, if you've been disruptive, they can ask you to leave. I have been disrupted. Yeah. I just told him I was recording. I'm going to speak to him. Okay. That's fine. Go, go in. Please, please talk. Please talk. I'll, I'll get their yeah. side yeah. of the story. And, and, right. and, and, once, and once you're done talking to him, I'll probably leave. Okay. I'll probably get out of here. But it's just the fact to prove that they can't go around violating people's rights. I'll, I'll let... explain to them that as long as you don't violate any restricted areas, mm -hmm. if you don't try to go in the back where the clients are, oh, no, not like this that. is a public area. And Absolutely. if they have an issue with that, they can contact their supervisors downstate. And let them know uh, anybody from the general public can come in. Mm -hmm. Anybody, general public can walk in the office. Mm -hmm. Like I said, as long as you don't violate yep. restricted areas yep. or. I, I respect the law. I respect what you guys do. You know, I, I believe in the Constitution. I believe in the citizens of the United States that we have rights under law. And we should be able to to go out and take pictures. And like, like I was just expressing to them the beautiful trees they have there, how beautiful they were, you know. And I love scenery like that, so. Right. And I explained to that, you so. know, that this is the general public area and you have every right to videotape or take pictures. So I appreciate that. Thank okay. you guys so much for You're your welcome. time. And All right. hey, take care, Mr. Brown. YouTubers, have give a good, a good shout out to these people because they're going to be on YouTube.